I'm going to slow cook some lamb shanks for a dinner party. Uh, first of all, I'm going to coat the lamb shanks in seasoned flour. So that's uh, two tablespoons of flour, a bit of salt, a bit of pepper into a freezer bag. Shake the lamb shanks around in it and then brown those off in a pan. I'll brown them off one or two at a time so I don't overcrowd the pan. If you overcrowd the pan you end up just steaming them rather than getting a nice brown coating to them to add more flavour to your final dish. Once those have been browned off, if they'll fit, put them into your slow cooker. Otherwise, put them into a large pan ready to cook slowly on the hob or in the oven. You now want to deglaze the pan that you've browned the lamb shanks in. First of all, I put in uh, a handful of chopped shallot. Diced carrots, a bit of red wine, some port, some lamb stock, you could use vegetable or chicken stock. bit of rosemary, bay leaf, and bring that to the boil. Stirring with a wooden spoon and using that spoon to scrape off any caramelised residue from the bottom of the pan. Add a tin of tomatoes. When that's come to the boil, add it to the slow cooker and leave for six to eight hours. or if you haven't got a slow cooker, or the lamb shanks won't fit in, put it all into your large saucepan, bring it up to a gentle simmer, and you just want to see the occasional bubble coming up. So mine didn't, mine didn't quite fit in to my slow cooker, so I put it back in the big saucepan, put a little more rare water in just to sufficiently cover the lamb shanks. On goes the lid and I'm going to leave that there, only just bubbling away for three hours. To make the sauce, take the cooking liquid Reduce it down to a nice consistency, check for seasoning, then serve.